When you are ready to buy a security appliance, how do you find the appliance that meets your requirements? You know your security requirement for firewall, IPS and application control, and you also know your typical throughput. How do you size the appliance to meet your requirements and pick an appliance that will meet your current and future needs? Performance numbers are available in data sheets, but these are based on ideal testing conditions. The most reliable method is to test the appliance in a proof of concept. But how do you configure the appliance? What traffic mix will you use during the test? The Checkpoint Security Power Metric was developed in this part of the purchase process to ensure that you pick an appliance that meets the current and future needs based upon real-world requirements. The traffic blend used in security power testing is based upon research by the Checkpoint Performance Lab to make sure that it is a representative mix of real-world traffic. It consists of 68% HTTP, 13% SMTP, 10% HTTPS and 9% other traffic like POP3, DNS and Telnet. The test is done with a typical policy of 100 rules with login enabled and network address translation enabled. The IPS profile is the IPS profile recommended for the best security. We know the security power testing for checkpoint appliances, but can we find the same metric for other vendors? Let's test the Palo Alto 5050 appliance according to the datasheet numbers. First, let's verify that we can recreate the Palo Alto's published performance numbers to validate our test configuration. The device under test is the PA5050 appliance. We test with Spirant Avalanche 3100B with 1 megabyte objects. Here you see that the appliance is up to date and the security policy has one rule with any source, any destination, any application and where the action is accept. Let's start with the test and monitor the throughput. And when the test completes, you can see that we are able to achieve throughput very close to the 10 gigabits per second as reported in the Palo Alto datasheet for the PA5050 appliance. Now let's proceed to the second part of the test where IPS, NAT and locking is enabled. In addition to the application, control is enabled by default and switch to the security power blend. Here you see NAT is enabled. Let's see the security policy role configured as strict profile. Let's start the test and monitor the throughput. In this test, we are not getting anywhere near the datasheet numbers. We are actually getting much less than that. The performance in the real-world configuration with the real-world traffic blend is only around 1.2 gigabits per second. Let's test the Checkpoint 15600 appliance using the same security power test with the same real-world traffic blend with IPS and application control activated, including NAT and logging enabled. According to 15,600 datasheet, the firewall, application controls, and IPS real-world performance number is 5.2 gigabit per second. This is the security policy for the appliance. Here you see that IPS and application control are enabled with recommended profiles for the best security. Here you see that there are 100 rules with logging enabled. Here you see that NAT is enabled. Let's start the test with real-world traffic blend. As the test runs, you can see that Checkpoint 15600 appliance achieves over 5.2 gigabits per second in the real-world testing configuration. 
When running a proof of concept test with the same parameters, we find that the Checkpoint 15600 appliance performs almost five times better than a comparable Palo Alto Networks appliance.